Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Madden. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you the full process of product design in Blender. So we have five very important aspects we have to cover. So the first aspect is reference, the second one modeling, the third one is materials, the fourth one lighting and the last one is rendering. And yeah, we will cover all these in this tutorial. So I got this program for reference. It's called PureRef and it's free. So you can drag your pictures in and then just look at them. Yeah, for reference. And I want to make these shampoo bottles. I have some of them here and also another picture for this top cap. And yeah. So let's go to Blender and start by deleting the default cube and adding a circle and I press one on the numpad and then extrude all these vertices of course with the magnet. So to a height like this, then again I need to extrude them and scale them down for the top part. This doesn't have to be perfect, but it should look right to a point. So let's make it like this, set a loop cut and extrude this a little bit. Okay, and maybe a bit higher on the Z axis like this. Okay, and let's take all these vertices or edges and take them lower. Yeah, I think this looks very nice. Now we can fill the bottom part. So select all these edges with shift alt and left click and press F for fill. And now let's add a subdivision surface modifier because we want to make it more smooth. And we have this weird bug now. So let's increase the levels of the viewport and now bevel those edges a little bit like that and this looks pretty nice of course this looks very weird at the top now but we can fix this with a loop cut like this okay this is way better already and just look at your reference from time to time so i want to take these edges a little bit more to the bottom like that and i think this looks fine and now let's shade the smooth and go to normals or the smooth and yeah now let's make the top part of the bottle so select these edges extrude them a little bit to the top yeah i think this is actually fine like this and we can extrude them again, left click and scale and extrude them again. Yeah, I think this is pretty nice. It's maybe a bit too big. So let's go back and make this a little smaller, scale this and now let's extrude this, extrude it again and scale like this and I think this looks fine but we have to fix some issues so this looks connected and not like two parts and to fix this I will turn off the subdivision surface modifier select those edges and select mark sharp okay and again let's look at the reference photos Okay, and then we can apply it again and set a loop cut down here like this and now it looks fine and let's fill the top face. Okay, and of course we need to bevel this too. Yeah, I think we have a very nice bottle, but we have to make some adjustments for this part. So let's grab this face and set it a bit like that. Now let's extrude it down. 
Okay, yeah, I think this works fine. And of course, bevel it again. And now it looks like that. And let's grab another cylinder, move this up and scale this so it fits in this part. Okay, like that. And before we make the inner part, let's make some adjustments here. So we want this little curve right here. And for that, I will go to the vertices mode to one and select all these vertices like that. And go to one again, select this tool and press G set. And with the mouse wheel, I can adjust the strength of the tool. So I think this is actually fine. Let's also select these vertices here. Okay, we have these vertices selected and drag them down a little bit too. Like that. And yeah, I think this looks really good. Now let's grab the cylinder and drag it down. So G, Z. And of course we have to drag these vertices up. And again, let's apply a subdivision surface modifier. Set this to level two and bevel it. Let's bevel this and this edge the same amount like this. And now we can shade this smooth again and press auto smooth. And I think this looks really nice. And I will not do this little part because I think this is unnecessarily hard to do. And yeah, we don't need that. So the basic design is ready now. And now we can move on to the third aspect and this is materials. So let's go to the shading tab and select the bottle. And as you may know, the bottle material is a metal material and the cap is plastic. So we have to separate the materials first and let's do this. So let's call this metal and then we select the cap. You can turn off the subdivision surface modifier for this. That way it's more easy. So let's select all these parts. And if you selected all the things you want, go to materials, new, and let's call this plastic and assign it. And let's unhide this and also assign the plastic material. Now we can unhide the subdivision surface modifier too. Let's go to this viewport shading mode and to our metal material and increase the metallic. Then let's decrease the specular. And now you can set a roughness value how you like it. Most of the time, this metal is very rough, so not reflective. So it doesn't look like this usually, but more like this. So yeah, it is very rough and Actually, let's leave this at a value of 0.6. I think this looks fine. Now let's go to the plastic and make a nice plastic material. So first let's give this a neutral color like this and also activate ambient occlusion and screen space reflections so we can see the difference better. Most of the time the plastic is rough too, so don't make it that reflective. More like this. I think this is fine. And for the next step, let's give this just a white color and the metal too. And I also will decrease the metallic value so it's not that silver. Yep, this looks fine in shading modes. And let's go to cycles and preview this too. Yeah, I think this works fine for now. And now let's set up the lighting and then adjust the materials again. So I go back to EV and we make a backdrop first, adjust the size of it and make this very big. 
bigger is better here and grab this edge and extrude it up then bevel this edge a lot like that and shade the smooth yep this looks nice and also let's scale the X size of it so it is very long and you get no shading issues now we can delete this light and add some planes for lighting I will not use regular light but emissive planes so let's drag this up and then go to shading and new material light and I will grab a gradient texture for smooth lighting then a color ramp and delete this and grab an emission node and set up all these then you can adjust those values right here and let's set the strength to something like 10 okay and let's rotate that by 90 degrees and we have a nice light and also let's press N then go to view camera to view and adjust the camera and I will make the picture resolution 2000 by 2000 so we only see the product and let's duplicate this plane rotate this by 180 degrees this goes to the other side okay let's actually make this brighter and this too then we can go to cycles and let's grab those lights and adjust the position of them so I have to rotate this a little bit more yeah like that so we don't see the black things here and I think this looks pretty nice of course everything is very white right now because the bottle is white and yeah so let's adjust this in the next step and we can make the plastic another color so let's make it a light blue like this very modern and actually let's grab an ambient occlusion note a mix rgb note and then pick this color plug it into base color set the note to multiply and the ambient occlusion goes into the color too and now you can see you have more ambient occlusion if you adjust this value and this just looks way nicer so let's copy this and add this to the metal too and plug it in of course i don't want blue metal but white metal so i will just leave the color at white but with ambient occlusion like that and currently it looks like this but i want to have something on the front side of the bottle so let's search some pictures from the internet and do that okay guys and for the next step i will apply a texture to this so let's grab a plane rotate it by 90 degrees drag it in front of the bottle and now let's scale this on the z axis by two drag this up and i will give this a new texture and call this bottle logo so i made a little logo and it looks like this so i plug this into base color and also i made an opacity map so the white areas are the areas that are shown and the black areas are the areas that are hidden and i will plug this into the alpha channel now let's go to the material and in blend mode select alpha clip for the shadow mode none also we have to go to this tab right here and turn off the shadows so it looks like this and now let's decrease the specular 
and also decrease the roughness and also the bottle is curved so we have to add a shrink wrap modifier to the plane and then select this bottle and this doesn't work because we have to add subdivision set first so let's grab a loop cut and then subdivide this like 100 times okay and now this should work let's give this a little offset now it's more curved okay and then i add a mapping node and adjust the scale of it a little bit yep this is good and now i go to the plastic let's give this another color i want to give it that color yep this looks pretty pretty nice okay maybe let's change the color of the strawberry too okay and now the color of the strawberry matches the other colors too and we can go to rendered mode and let's adjust some render settings so i don't want any denoise let's set this to 2000 samples and go to the light paths i don't need light paths for the transmission so let's set this to two or even one how you like it you can see how this looks with many light paths and with less light paths so it's basically the same so we don't have to do this also we don't have to set light paths for the transparent now you actually just have to render this and you have your product design yeah but i want to show you some backdrops you can use too so let's actually give this a another backdrop with pure white so let's get an emission node and plug this in and select everything assign and we have pure white now this is good for some e-commerce stuff like if you have white backgrounds on your website or something and this other white is better for photography you know okay and also you can make this black and it looks like this this is also pretty nice for photography you can make it really really dark like this and the last thing i wanted to show you is to make it reflective usually you do it reflective on the ground and for this you make it dark too then increase the specular value decrease the roughness value and it looks like this you can make it even darker like pure black yeah i said you do this basically only with the ground because we have the lights in the background here and this doesn't look that good so i will leave mine at white and now i will show you the final result so this is it guys i hope you liked the video and learned something if yes leave a thumbs up if no leave a thumbs down i'll see you next time and bye